Hi, Brad from MJB Engineering with another mix repair video. This mixer is at one of our bakery customers and they gave us a call because one of the bolts that holds the spiral tool to the shaft had sheared off. They tried to remove the uh, remains of the bolt but weren't successful. So we need to pull the shaft out of the machine and um, remove the broken bolt. This is one of the other bolts that had uh, PTFE tape wrapped around it. The customer had done this because the bolts were falling out. Here's a quick look at the shaft removed from the machine. You can see the face of the shaft has quite a lot of damage and you can see the sheared bolt in the back there. So these are stainless bolts in a mild steel shaft but the shafts are chrome plated for corrosion resistance. Just another look at the face of that shaft there. These should be very flat to uh, transmit the torque from the tool correctly. So we got the shaft back to the workshop, press the bearings off in our hydraulic press. And the top bearing is a 6211 deep groove ball bearing and the lower bearing is double angular contact with a spacer between them to maintain the right alignment. Just a picture of the shaft removed from the machine. No damage to the bearing seats, which was good. Just needed a real good clean. There was some old grease in there. This is the first operation on the shaft. True that face up, so took a couple of skims to uh, remove the, uh, the damage from the face. Taking a bit off the face won't really affect the geometry of the tool. Uh, it'll just lift the tool ever so slightly off of the bottom of the bowl. That centre pin should be a interference fit in the spiral, um, the spiral tool, but it was so beaten we, we just had to take it slightly undersized um, just to clean up some of the damage which you can see there. So that's nice and flat again now. We can get on with removing the bolt. So to remove the bolt, we're going to take the shaft over to the mill and I'm going to use a 14mm slot drill to chase the bolt out and hopefully leave the threads intact. So that's how we set it up. A pair of V-blocks on an angle plate and um, a big strap clamp across it and another clamp at the bottom. That's more than rigid enough for what we need to do. And there's the face cleaned up with the bolt removed. And uh, we re-tap them threads and um, give them a good clean out. And I think they're going to be fine to reuse. No need to helicoil this one. So this is the shaft reassembled just sitting on top of the machine there. The shafts have to be assembled up through the bottom of the machine. Um, and then there's the bearing cap that sits under the bearing that gets bolted to the machine and that stops the shaft from coming back out. There are two ways to do this. You can jack the shafts up or you can um, use some threaded rod to pull the shafts up inside the machine. So that's what I elected to do with this one. A bit of M16 threaded rod, a um, couple of standoffs and a plate with a hole in it and you can use a nut to uh, pull the shaft up inside uh, the machine, which is... Uh, it's a bit of a slow process, but it's controlled and you can make sure everything's going in nice and straight. Here it is with the big pulley back on, and um, you can see it's running nice and free. And here's the machine back in working order 24 hours after we took it apart, ready for the customer.